So I'm reading this fascinating book by Professor Harold Foster, What Really Causes AIDS. And I thought it was fascinating because it involves nutrition. But let me explain. When you have this virus, HIV, which stands for human immunodeficiency virus, over time, if the immune system is weak, that can shift to AIDS, which stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Now, AIDS is a condition where you basically don't have an immune system anymore because that virus targets a key player within your immune system. It's like the quarterback of the entire team. I mean, if you're playing football and you don't have a good quarterback, you can't ever win. You can't even do a play. The quarterback is kind of an essential key player in this whole thing. Well, as far as your immune system, the T helper cell, it's called CD4, is that quarterback. Without that key player, the T helper cell, your immune system cannot coordinate with the other players and launch the attacks, the defense uh, systems. Um, it can't provide for any protection. And so this T helper cell is such a vital, essential player involved in your immune system. And without it, you'll have all sorts of pathogenic secondary infections, uh, tumors, cancer that can result from not having that uh, key player. And on top of that, the virus can then keep reproducing, 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 and just forever. A lot of different viruses have very clever strategies for their survival, which is pretty bizarre because a virus technically is not alive. It's some genetic material wrapped in a sack that can only live off the host's energy and metabolism and machinery. So it's a big mystery whether it's alive or not. But the point is that HIV can encode for glutathione. It has the exact same gene that you have when you make glutathione. And so glutathione is the key antioxidant for all of your cells. It's like the most important antioxidant, but it's also intimately involved with your immune system. And so this is what this virus does. It starts making glutathione. And in the process, it depletes your selenium uh, and three other amino acids. And these are all building blocks to make glutathione. So it depletes the precursors, leaving you high and dry. Now, this is really important to know because if you can just supply these three amino acids and selenium, you can hopefully build up your glutathione and prevent the transition from the HIV virus to the a full-blown AIDS uh, syndrome. And so the other amino acids that get depleted, which are precursors, are cysteine, glutamine, and tryptophan. So Professor uh, Harold Foster uses this protocol in Africa for AIDS patients, and apparently it's very, very successful. Now, there are several other viruses that also use the same mechanism that you should be aware of. Hepatitis C, hepatitis B, and the virus Coxsackie. So this protocol would probably help those individuals with those viruses as well. I mean, even the co-discoverer of HIV, he said this, AIDS is characterized as this persistent oxidative stress imbalance, as well as the glutathione deficiency. Now, glutathione has everything to do with getting rid of free radical damage and lowering this oxidative stress in the body. And so then the person just really has no chance of fighting off these secondary infections and tumors because it just overwhelms the body. There's no more defenses. When this virus sucks up your selenium, that then creates a major deficiency of this T helper cell. And then a lowered T helper cell will directly decrease selenium. And then the decreased selenium decreases the T helper cell. So it, it's a never ending um, downward spiral. So this is the protocol that I would take if I had AIDS, okay? In addition to doing other things. Number one, I would take 400 micrograms of selenium, which is double what the high end should be. I would also take the three amino acids, cysteine, glutamine, and tryptophan. So those are the four natural remedies that this professor recommends. But I would add one more thing. I would add something called NAC. NAC can double glutathione. So I would add that just to put the icing on the cake.
But for those out there that have HIV, I think it's important to have this as a as a deeper understanding of something that you could try. I mean, you have nothing to lose. And unfortunately, when you're searching for remedies, it's very difficult to find natural remedies that literally have no toxicity. But you know, selenium does a lot more than just act as a precursor for glutathione. It's involved in the conversion of the inactive thyroid hormone to the active thyroid hormone. It also helps prevent cancer. But I have a lot more to say about selenium in this video right here. Check it out.